What's up? Good morning, homies. So today, I didn't have to go to work because it's freezing cold here in Chicago and uh, there's a ton of snow. So, I got the morning off. I gotta go back later, but I got to sleep in. It's a good day. So I thought we'd take a look at the Duncan Big Fun just for the fun of it. So this is a plastic, like, bud like a budget yo-yo from Duncan, but uh, like a budget high quality yo-yo. It's got a concave bearing. Um, it's made for, you know, unresponsive tricks and everything. Um, but it was, you know, very cheap. I think it was like, I can't remember. It was between 15 and 20 bucks. Like, it was really cheap. It's got a finger spin dimple on it. Uh, it looks really cool. Um, I'm actually really excited about this one. Um, and, yeah, I guess that's really all there is to it. So, let's just camera. We'll take a look at it. And, uh, next thing you know, we'll be playing with it. Okay, so here's the package. It's kind of got, like, the packaging that more of their expensive yo-yos usually have. Um, you know, the ones that aren't going to be sold in, like, department stores, so, you know. Um, a lot of their, like, the free hands and stuff have that packaging where they could put it on a shelf where it's kind of, like, you know, uh, harder for people to steal it and stuff like that. This is more the boxes that you normally see when they ship to stores like Yo-Yo Expert or, you know, you know all your online Yo-Yo retailers. Okay, so very cool. Just for the fun of it, that's, like, the tagline of this Yo-Yo. The big fun. I like the lettering, how it's all in the, you know, just, like, the fun colors and everything. I got the teal or sea foam or whatever you call this color. Also do. Got a big logo there. Here it says, Duncan offers entry level to competitive metal yo-yos. It's now time to have have a more entertaining choice, big and fun. Big size, big spin, big concave bearing, fun time with fingerspin cap, designed and amplified hop size tricks. I don't know what that means. Enjoy. Cool. But yeah. Very standard packaging, but check it out. I got the Remy Baskin edition. Boom, I kind of I've had this for like a week and I forgot that I even ordered the Remy Baskin edition because I haven't taken it out. I just knew it was this color. Um, so really cool, the pink with that sea foam uh, looks freaking awesome. Uh, Remy's one of their pros. Come on, there we go, okay. And then, I don't have any other ones in here, but this is just for packaging. There might be like a string in here, usually. No, no, there's nothing in this one. But, really cool. Check this out. It says Big Fun <laughs> all over it. So really, really cool. And no, the OEO does not fit in that. Wait, or does it? I don't think it does. That'd be weird. <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not. Don't try to put the OEO in there. It's not made for that. Uh, but, okay, so cool. So it is definitely bigger than your standard Duncan. Um, here's, I don't have my free hand with me, but here's it next to the hot diggity. You know, much bigger diameter, um, but about the same width actually. The width is like basically the same. I'll put all the stats on the screen. Feels lighter, like low 60s, but I won't really know that. I may, I don't know. I don't know. We won't know until I throw it how it really feels. Um, it does have this like shinier type of plastic. Uh, these do look to be the like, caps, but they're, they look to be sealed in there pretty darn good. Okay. So we got our red Duncan Friction stickers in here, which I actually really like. Oh, sorry, camera. I'm oh, sorry, Axel. I'm, I'm losing it, guys. Sorry, bearing. So I like how the bearing, I actually really like how the bearings just come out of these areas. Uh, you don't gotta like grab a tool or pliers or anything, you just pop right out. Bada bing, bada boom. Nice concave bearing, like a Diffio style. Concave bearing. The shield's already removed. So really, really nice feeling there. Let's put that back in there. It looks like a standard seven millimeter axle. But it does feel really nice. It does kind of feel like it's this cheaper plastic, but it's a cheaper video, yeah, so that's, that's okay. Um, so this type of plastic usually isn't the best for grinds and stuff. A lot of times you can sand it though, if you're really into grinds, but it won't have that cool shine to it anymore. But yeah, just as far as how this looks, it looks awesome. Um, a little big, but still kind of slim. Interesting. This, uh, this is going to be interesting. Let's, uh, let's go over there where we got a little more room and let's play with this, play with this baby. All right, guys, here we got the big fun here. I threw a zip line on here. And, uh, okay, let's just throw it around first.
The shape is nice. It's it's actually really nice. Quite long spinning too. Response is really, really nice. Okay, right off the bat, I am really, really digging this. Very smooth on the string too. It's light, but it's still quite rim weighted. Yeah, this response is really, really nice. I know it uses the same pads as a lot of the other guys. I don't know if it just has to do with the shape or what, but the response feels a little different on this one. It feels like perfect. Or it could be the bearing, I don't know. This is definitely, well, it's definitely like smoother than I was expecting too. I'm getting a slight plastic vibe, but not bad. Like very, very minimal, very minimal. Like where I'm not feeling at all on the string. But this size too is like, this would be a great yo-yo. For learning any type of trick like Eli hops or whoops, like whip, learning whip tricks in general. Yeah, it just it feels really nice. Whoops. I kind of like too how it's not that wide. Like it's big diameter. But it's actually not that wide, so it's like, I mean, it's easy to do whip tricks, but it's not like stupid easy because the, uh, you know, it's just not crazy wide. Yeah, very stable, nice long spinning for a plastic yo-yo. Um, very, very rim weighted. Uh, let's see how well this grinds. Okay, so it does have that like plasticky stickiness to it. A little bit just from this type of plastic so it's not gonna be the best like for just traditional like arm grinds or anything like that yeah I love the response though the response feels really nice um obviously you're not gonna really gonna be able to do uh, thumb grinds but it does have this finger spin cup so let's try this out because this is so shallow and this is so sticky plastic I feel like I'm gonna have to land it directly on the little dimple there so give me give me a couple tries I might not might not get this first try. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, I got, I got this. I'm just a little rusty with my finger spins. I've been using a lot of yo-yos that have like the cup that I kind of can catch it in. It's a little, little bit different. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, so a little. A little on the hard side. You gotta really catch it directly in that dimple. But it really feels like it will spin good when you do catch it in there. Let me try this again. This is mostly me. Ah, oh, come on, I had it there. And then the string wrapped around my finger. This is mostly me just sucking. That time I locked in there for a second and the string wrapped around my finger. It made a knot, so let me try this again. Fourth time is a charm. Are you kidding me? Yeah. This plastic around here is like, if you hit this plastic, the yo-yo just like slows down completely. So you really got to catch it directly on there. Kind of like the, what was it? The first base finger spin, I felt it was the same way. Like if you don't catch it right there, it's like impossible. But this will get you better at it. Come on, man. Man, I suck at finger spins. At least on this yo-yo, I do. Fifth time's charm. I'm not giving up. Oh my god, it is. This actually is really hard to finger spin on. Um, at least for me, like I've never been amazing at finger spins. But real talk, I'm actually like trying really hard here. 
<laughs> Let me try this again. Come on. Yeah, like that time I had it on there, but like this plastic is just like really sticky. It doesn't like, like if I had a glove on, I'm sure it would be fine, but I don't. And I have no fingernails. <laughs> so let me try this again. There we go. Oh my God. Okay, so fifth or sixth time was a charm. Yeah, root. Once you catch it in there, it, it works good. But yeah, man, it's it's a little bit of a task here. Also, too, if I had a glove on or something, it'd be a little easier. But yeah, that was. There we go. Okay, now I got two in a row. But yeah, it was uh, much harder than I was uh, expecting. That being said though, I mean this yo-yo is sick. Um, finger spins works good, you just gotta catch it right in there. Um, just takes a little practice. Oh, well. My string tension is terrible right now. There we go. But yeah, overall I'm really liking this actually. I'm really impressed with this. I like this more than any other plastic good they've came out with in a while. Um, I think this turned out really good and a very, very minimal vibe. Um, for being the price it is, it's worth every penny. Yeah, definitely check this thing out. So, links will be down below. I think it's like between 15 and 20 bucks, worth every penny. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Peace out.